It is estimated there are between 25 and 35,000 Georgia farmers dealing with some type of disability, ranging from arthritis to strokes to paraplegics, to name just a few. Because farmers are so independent and don't like to go looking for help, AgriAbility in Georgia helps only a fraction of those who could be eligible for free help and assistance. The purpose of AgriAbility is to help farmers and their farm families to continue or to get back to farming when they've had to deal with a disability. It's a program everyone needs to know about. Um, the AgriAbility in Georgia program is funded through a competitive grant by the USDA. Um, the, the program is a collaboration between the Cooperative Extension Service and the College of Ag Environmental Sciences and the Institute on, on Human Development and Disability and the College of Family and Consumer Sciences. The, so we are funded to, to provide these services and they're free of charge to the farmer. First thing they need to do is call our 800 number which is on our Farm Again website and uh, they'll reach me. What I'll do is go over uh, some information, find out what their disability is, how long they've been farming, the size of their farm, just some general information. And then I will um, get their information to our service coordinators. Once we get a call from a farmer, um, we actually make a site visit where we go to the farm and assess what kind of needs that they may have on the farm. And then I come back if there's if we're able to fabricate something to help that farmer, then we do so. If something else is needed, they find grant funds or funding from another avenue to help the farmer's needs. For example... We actually have a client that's a hemophilia where, you know, if he gets knocked down, if he bleeds, he could bleed out quickly. And, and when you're dealing with livestock and you have to get in a pen with them, then you're um, having to worry about them knocking you down, running over you. Well, the feeder that we have now that we've kind of come up with is so that he can feed from the outside of the pen and not having to get inside and have contact with the livestock. For another client diagnosed with Parkinson's disease, they had to build some extended steps for his tractor so he could get on and off easier. And they put automatic walk-through gates so he could walk in and out of the pasture feeding his animals without having to crawl through fences or open and shut the gates. AgriAbility is a national organization. 24 other states offer the program. Uh, within that network, if we're out on a farm dealing with someone and we have a, a issue that arises that we don't know how to handle, we can pick up the phone, call somebody in another state, we can send out an email to our, our listserv, which is a group of other individuals in other states that work with AgriAbility and get their input on it. They have staff at UGA they can depend on for fabrication, engineering, and assisted technology. They stay on top of what's out there, you know, what's new, what's on the horizon. And they partner with the Shepherd Center for Physical Therapy. I think the most important thing I would like everyone to know is that this service is out there free of charge. We have uh, primarily three things that we can offer. Technical assistance, in which ranges from business plans to actually building assistive technologies in our shop here in Tifton. Um, information dissemination, which you can find a lot of that on our website, uh, farmagain.com. And trainings, uh, which we uh, do all over the state. Farmers are really very happy to get back on their farm because that's their way of life. That's what they want to do. Uh, they they don't want to stop. It makes you feel really good when you see the reaction on their face. It feels like they've actually got another jolt of, I can make it, on them. I mean, it's it's really a blessing. And if you'd like to contact them, visit farmagain.com or call 1-877-524-6264. It is a great program.